ton chant pour la gloire de Dieu. Parce que moi connais Jésus, c'est bon ami. Dans le moi j'ai la peur et me joigne tout ça que moi j'ai besoin. Tout le monde me trahit, moi pas pour tout le Moi j'ai un ami. Oh, moi j'ai un ami. C'est lui-même seul qui gagne pitié pour moi, lui remet moi. Oh, moi remet lui, lui tellement remet, lui bon moi, la vie éternelle. Si vous êtes qu'il est content, c'est pas l'argent ni vanité, c'est parce que Jésus, tout est moins au payé, moins pas gain tristesse encore. Faut me chanter à mon Jésus, gagne pour moi, lui sauver moi. Oh, lui t'es sauvé, lui tellement sauvé, lui bon moi. La vie éternelle, lui tellement sauvé, lui bon moi, la vie éternelle, lui tellement sauvé, lui bon moi, la vie éternelle. Pastor Norman. Pastor Norman Calix. Jésus, 
Test, test. Est-ce que vous... Yes, we can hear you. Test. We can hear you, pastor. But we don't okay. see you. We don't see you. Okay. Test. Yes. Okay. Test. Go ahead, test. pastor. Go ahead. You're good. Okay. Test. Oui. Pastor, everything is fine. Oui, oui. Uh, J'arrive. Jésus-Christ. Esprit. Esprit. Papa. 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 Esprit, 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 l'aime te vine, joigne la vie moins te changer. Les premiers morceaux, ni femmes vine entier. Grâce à lui, moi, car pas de moi, sauvé. Lui prend mon morceau, lui fait vie tout entier. Jésus, Jésus, Jésus. Amen, Alléluia. The voice is not that great as the praise team, but we give glory to, the, to God and the highest for his great love because he opened doors that were shut. He brings solutions to the problems. He blesses children when they ask for it. He opened the sky and pour out his blessing for this and many more. We give glory to God in the highest. Amen. Grace and peace to you for him who is, who was, and who is to come, Jesus Christ, who is a faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be to our God in the highest. We are delighted uh, today to be able to join you online. We are delighted that you are able to be part of the program today. And uh, we are glad that you can join us for worship. So the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. 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 As we come uh, today, uh, I want to say that I am um, overjoyed for this uh, Sabbath and the 40 days of uh, worship uh, and, and prayer. I am honored uh, by uh, Pastor Valmier for his kind invitation and to preach this week during those 40 days of fasting and prayer. I pray for his dear wife, First Lady Christine Valmier, for, uh, and I uh, also pray for their wonderful children on those uncertain times. I also want to pray for you, and uh, my prayer for you is that God keep you safe, all of you online who join us also to keep your loved ones safe during those tough times. In the book of Luke, uh, we read a, a great story, but uh, that story reminds me of a, a young boy whose father was in the military. He used to have nightmare at night before he sleeps, and his mother didn't know what to do to keep him safe. They took him to uh, many places, doctors and hospitals, clinics and uh, uh, specialists to help him with his nightmare. 
the problem could not be solved. But the boy said to his mother, Mommy, where is daddy at? And his father, having been deployed to Iraq at the time, hard to find a communication directly. Suddenly, the boy said, Mommy, I know you made a lot of effort, but daddy doesn't need to come home. If I hear daddy's voice, I will be okay. So in the book of Luke, chapter 7, verses 1 to 10, we read in English that when Jesus had finished saying uh, all, uh, all of this, uh, uh, when Jesus has finished saying all these to the people who were listening, excuse me, he entered Capernaum. There was a centurion servant whose, uh, whose uh, master valued highly and was sick and about to die. The centurion uh, uh, heard that, 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 uh, of Jesus and, and sent some elders uh, of the Jews to him, asking him to come and heal his servant. We are using the New International Version, of course. And we are going to verse 4. When they came to Jesus, they pleaded earnestly with him. The men deserve to have you to do this. They say in verse 5, because he loves our nation and has built our synagogue. In verse 6, so Jesus went with them. He was not far from the house where the centurion sent friends to say to him, Lord, don't trouble yourself, for I do not deserve to come under my roof. And in verse 7, we read, that is why I do not even consider myself worthy to come to you. But say the word. Amen? Boy, say the word. But say the word and and it will happen. Our great Lord, that's the word that the centurion wanted to hear. But say the word, and my servant will be healed. In verse 8, we see, I myself am a man under authority with soldiers under me. I tell this one, go. And he goes. And that one come. And he comes. I say to my servant, do this. And he does it. In verse 9, when Jesus heard, he was amazed of him. He was amazed at him and turning to the crowd, following. He said, I tell you, I have not found such a great faith even in Israel. Then the man who had been sent to those in the house and found the servant well. Amen. We're experiencing some technical difficulties, but I will pray in the Lord for his words to go through. As we are inviting you to open your Bible this time and reading the scripture in Spanish for the Spanish speakers. In the Libro de Lucas, capítulo 7, versículo 1 a 10. Leamos, utilizando la nueva versión internacional. Cuando terminó de hablar al pueblo, Jesús entró en Capernaum. Había un centurión cuyo siervo, a quien él estimaba mucho, estaba enfermo y a punto de morir. Versículo 3. Como oyó hablar de Jesús, el centurión mandó a unos dirigentes de los judíos a pedirle que fuera a sanar su siervo. Cuando Llegó. Los, cuando llegó los dirigentes para hablar de Jesús, cuando llegaron a más caballeros, en como hoy yo hablar de Jesús, dijo el versículo 3, y el centurio mandó a unos dirigentes de los judíos a pedirle que fuera a sanar a su siervo. 
Versículo 4, leamos. Cuando llegaron antes, Jesús le rogaron con insistencia. Este hombre merece que le concedas lo que te pide. Aprecio tanto a nuestra nación y que nos ha construido una sinagoga. Así que Jesús fue para ver a la casa cuando el Señor mandó a un amigo decirle. Así que cuando Jesús estaba de camino, no estaba lejos de la casa cuando el Señor mandó unos amigos a decirle, Señor, no te tomes tanto molestia, pues no merezco que entres bajo de mi techo. Versículo 7 dice, por eso ni siquiera me atreví a presentarme ante de ti, pero con una sola palabra que digas, quedará sano mi siervo. Yo mismo, y hoy el hombre, yo mismo obedezco órdenes superiores y además tengo soldados bajo mi autoridad. Le dijo, que, que le dijo uno, ve y va, y al otro, ven y viene. Le digo a, a, a mi siervo, haz eso y lo hace. Al oír eso, Jesús se asombró de él y volviéndose a la multitud que la seguía, comentó. Le dijo que ni siquiera en Israel he encontrado una fe tan grande. Al regresar a la casa, los enviados encontraron sano al servio. For the French speakers, let's uh, invite you to open your Bible in the book of uh, Luke, chapter 7. Pour ceux qui parlent français, nous allons lire uh, dans l'évangile de Luke, chapter 7, le verset 1 à 10. Nous allons utiliser la version du second. And we read in French. Après avoir achevé tous ces discours devant le peuple qui l'écoutait, Jésus entra dans Capernaum. Un centenier avait un serviteur auquel il était très attaché et qui se trouvait malade sous le point de mourir. Ayant entendu parler de Jésus, il lui envoya quelques anciens des Juifs pour lui, pour le prier de venir guérir son serviteur. Verset 4 nous dit. Il arrivèrent auprès de Jésus et lui adressèrent distantes supplications, disant Il mérite que tu lui accordes cela, car il aime notre nation et c'est lui qui a bâti notre synagogue. Jésus étant allé avec eux, c'était guère éloigné de la maison quand le centenier envoya ses amis pour lui dire Seigneur, ne prends pas tant de peine car je ne suis pas digne que tu entres sous mes trois. » Le verset 7 nous dit, « C'est aussi pour cela que je ne me suis pas cru digne d'aller en personne vers toi. » Mais dites un mot, mais dites un mot, mais dis un mot et mon serviteur sera guéri. Car moi, je suis soumis à des seins supérieurs je les soldats sous mes ordres. Et je dis un mot. Je dis à l'un, va. Et il va. À l'autre, viens. Et il vient. Et à mon serviteur, fais cela. Et il le fait. Verset 9 nous dit, lorsque Jésus entendit ces paroles, il admira le centenier et se tourna vers la foule qui le suivait et dit, je vous le dis, même en Israël, je n'ai pas trouvé une aussi grande foi. De retour, mesdames et messieurs, au verset, au verset 10, de retour à la maison, les gens envoyés par deux centeniers trouvèrent Jésus, le serviteur qui avait été malade. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him. And turning to the crowd following him, he said, I tell you, I have not found such a great faith in Israel. The title of our sermon for today, Lord, say a word. Amen? Seigneur, dis un mot. Seigneur, digas unas palabras. 
una palabra. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, you have chosen a sinful man to open the word and speak about it. I'm asking you at this time to forgive me of my sins. I need the power of your Holy Spirit for the sake of those listening, for the sake of your gospel, for the glory of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. After the sermon of the plan, Luke chapter 6, verses 20 to 49, Jesus came to a city of residence, according to what we saw in Matthew chapter 4, verse 2. He came and dwelt in Capernaum. This means that the location of the sermon of the plan was not like Lee, far away from Capernaum. The healing of the centurion servant, as we just read from the Gospel of Luke, is also quoted in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 8, verses 5 to 13. And some theologians argue that the healing of the noble man's son in John, chapter 4, verses 46 to 54, is the same episode in the life of Christ. And in both passages, the important thing is faith. The centurion and centenarian are among several English words derived from the Latin word for 100, centum. In the ancient Roman uh, army, a, a, a centurion was the officer in charge uh, of a century, uh, a, a unit originally comprised of 100 men. Centurion and centurion are among several English words that we saw. The centurion was, as we saw in the text, appear as a devout, kind, and humble. Yet, all the same, he was a centurion. Not only a Gentile, but a Roman soldier and an instrument of Israel's oppression. We learned that the centurion had an unusual attitude toward his slave. On the woman's law, a master had the right to kill his slave. And it was expected that he would do so if the slave became ill or injured to the point that where he could not work. But it looks like the centurion, ladies and gentlemen, is acting differently to how others usually act toward the slave. Apparently, the centurion did not think of himself worthy of a person meeting with Jesus. And perhaps, though, Jesus would not want to meet with a Gentile like himself. So he sent Jewish leaders as a representative to Jesus. Even though the centurion was a Roman soldier, which could also mean he was an instrument of Israel's oppression. However, the Jewish leaders went and spoke to Jesus on his behalf because he was a worthy man. In contrast, ladies and gentlemen, we can also come to Jesus directly without a representative, even when we are unworthy. Hallelujah! Fix a grace a sacrifice Jesus fait. Gracias a su sacrificio, podemos ir directamente a Jesús. Podemos suplicar a Jesús. Sans, nous pas besoin, monde pour nous aller pour nous, nous capables d'aller directement et mener supplication à Jésus. Amen. Nous comptons aujourd'hui pour me dire, ou qu'à mettre entre nos chambres, ou prier, ou venir 40 jours ça, ou prier. Ou pas besoin voye moun pou ou a jen Jésus, mais seulement ou leve voye on le pou di Seigneur, di yon mo. Jésus li mem, la di yon mo an fave ou. He justifies the ungodly. Uh, and any theologians says that 
uh, these considerations suggest that the captain was a God-fearing person. He, a Gentile who embraced Israel's God but did not undergo circumcision. Thanks to the living sacrifice of Jesus our Lord and Savior, we can come directly to the throne of grace and the words of Apostle Paul. But to him who does not work, but believes on him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is accounted for righteousness. Amen. And it is very interesting in verses 6. To eight, the centurion tell Jesus that he need not to come. Because he knows that Jesus need, he, did, he, he know that Jesus didn't need to be present to do his work. This is very amazing. He understood that the presence of the Lord was not required for him to do his job. He understood that que la presencia de Dios no fue necesario para hacer una salvación. Me se comprende ça, mes frères amis. Chers amis, ils comprennent que Jésus pas de besoin présent pour Jésus fait travailler. Comme Maxime, je dis à moi content pour me dire que Jésus pas besoin d'entrer à caillou pour une guérison. Amen. Jésus pas obligé qui était trop dans le ciel là pour notre de caillou pour une guérison. Jésus m'a dit oh yes in Exodus chapter 13 we going to read that Jesus doesn't have to be present in the hospital room for you to find healing. The good news is our Lord Almighty just had to say a word and upon that word healings comes. Hallelujah. Oh yes, in Exodus 13, 21, we read that by day the Lord went ahead of the Israelites in a pillar of cloud to guide them on the way and by night. And a pillar of fire to give them light so that they could travel by day or night. In other words, my brothers and sisters, the people of Israel needed the very presence of God for guidance. But in the case of the centurion, the presence of the Lord was not necessary to heal the sex servant. Oh, I'm wondering, is there somebody here today who understands just the word? We heal your children. Just the word can heal your family. You don't need the very presence of God for the Lord make a miracle. Hallelujah to God be the glory for we are serving a mighty king. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, the centurion understood that uh, the presence of of Jesus was not uh, required to heal it. And how many believe that Jesus can heal you of your disease without having to come to the hospital room? How many of you believe that Jesus can restore your health without having to come to your house? How many of you, like the centurion, believe that Jesus can fix the relationship without having to, uh, to be present in the marriage? Oh, the Lord is looking for somebody who actually believes that his presence is not required. Uh, that his presence is 
not necessarily required in order to heal you from the coronavirus. Hallelujah. The Lord is looking for somebody who trusts in him that know that his presence doesn't require him to make healings, to make miracles. This morning, I wish there was somebody who believe in the great authority of Jesus and ask not to come, but only needs a word to solve their problem. Jesus, ladies and gentlemen, did not hesitate to go to the centurion house. Has the way which that Jesus, regardless of the rules, regardless of how the centurion felt, Jesus headed to his house. Would Jesus have entered a Gentile house? Another says that the dwelling Gentiles are unclean. So it was completely against Jewish custom for a Jew to go to the house of a Gentile. But I'm happy to tell you, it was not against God's rules. Amen? Apil moun ka pase lot moun yo pa din pou la kayo. Apil moun ka pase ke Seigneur a pate de priye moun sa yo. Men Jezu, li va mache sou loa le zom, sou loa kultur, li mache sou pop loa pali. Pa kon kotor le Jezu pou pa vini. Pa kon kotor evite Jezu pou pa vini. Jezu, te jen evitasyon centurium malgre la loa de juif ki te di non. Et Jésus, mesdames et messieurs, il prend en route pour aller. The centurion knew that it might be a problem for this prominent rabbi to come into his house. So he had his friends met Jesus on the way to say that it was not necessary for him to come all the way to the house. For he spoke him to be amen. He understood that the presence of God that he had to come to his house. Oh no, no, but vle deranger Seigneur. Il n'était pas, il n'était pas obligé de venir. Il n'a qu'à dire un mot parce que son triomphe comprend que c'est avec un mot seulement par la puissance. Tout puissant de Jésus-Christ serait suffisant pour la guérison de son serviteur. For he understood the full power of God. He also understood the Bible verse that says, For he spoke and it came to be. He commanded and it stood firm. Car il dit, et la chose arrive, il ordonne et elle existe. Pour que elle hablo, il tolo fue creado. Dio una orden, il tolo quedo firme. He understood. But many people could not understand. The centurion was a remarkable man. The elders said he was worthy. He said he was not worthy. Very often when people are giving glory to you, you just take it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just take it and happy. But in the case of the centurion, even, even though the Jewish leaders spoke highly of him. He still thinks that he was unworthy. They praise him for building the house of worship. He felt unworthy that Jesus would come to his house. They said he was deserving. He felt underdeserving. He felt underserving as a servant. Although he did wonderful things for the Jewish people. 
he felt himself unworthy. Strong faith and great humility are entirely compatible. A great theologian found two features of character blend in the centurions which do not often meet in such graceful harmony. He won the high option of others, and yet he held a low estimation of himself. Your faith will not murder your humility. Yeah, did you know that? Did you know that? Your faith will not murder your humility. Your humility will not stab at your faith. Did you also know that? Did you know that? But the two will go hand in hand to heaven like a brave brother and a fair sister. Hallelujah. The one bold as a lion and the other meek as a dove. The one rejoicing in Jesus, the other blushing at self. Ladies and gentlemen, the first part that captures my interest and, and grabs my attention, and it is perhaps the most captivating part in this whole scene, is the faith of the centurion. The centurion fu uh, fully understood that Jesus' healing power was not a magic trick uh, that requires the magician's presence. Amen. Grand Pilmon, pour pas la marche, voir qu'il diable, puis il tra ses vers. But the centurion understood that the healing power of Jesus was not uh, some type of magic tricks that we only requires the presence of the voodoo priests. But Jesus, the creator of the heavens and the earth, just got to say a word for the action to take place. Comprendre que y'a les caibocos pour moi un jour, puis on fait méchanceté parce que me t'ai refusé coucher et qu'on entre en affaire avec une jeune dame. Mais en Haïti, mesdames et messieurs, les ça, mais nous connais, je m'en rajoute, par la gare et la quartier que jeune demoiselle là, il remet moi, moi-même qui a fait si effort dans l'évangile là. Je ne veux pas mettre comme dans pièce de relation avec jeune demoiselle là. Ma tante li, l'autre soeur li, l'autre famille, tout ensemble, je mette, je dis, il faut que je finisse avec moi. Parce que le fait que je refuse, c'est une humiliation pour petite fille. Frère Maxime, je suis à prier, à prier, à prier. Yo même, pendant que vous chercher l'argent, vous allez dans la station boss, vous payez un chauffeur, vous faites trois heures de temps en route, plus quatre heures de temps marché, puis allez dans tout le diable, puis allez chercher la femme, ça qui mal. Vous soyez ma dormi, vous regardez dans la fenêtre côté ma dormi, moi, vous avez tout en blanc pour venir prendre moi. Vous avez tellement peur, vous avez si moi j'existais. Vous avez après les grands mâts, grands mâts. Je ne peux pas attendre. Je ne Je ne peux pas côté. Je ne à ta droite. Je ne serai pas à terre. Mais de ce seulement tu regarderas. Et tu verras la rétribution des méchants. Je ne la pire. Je ne peux pas Puis je vais passer dans la fenêtre dans ton courant bête. Je me sens vrai. Comme je ne peux là. Je me dis Jésus. Dis un mot, au moment même, mes soeurs et mes frères, là pour là, force qui t'a levé là, au nom de Jésus de Nazareth, il tombe, bip, 
c'est alors que je me courir, je me mettre à genoux, je prier le Seigneur. C'est moment ça que je me tendais, je prier, je pleurer, je demander un petit garçon, ça va passer, les deux du matin, je vais prier, est-ce que tout le monde est Moi, je dis, Yes. Dieu Tout-Puissant, comment te considère tout l'univers créé par ton Ciel d'azur, les éclairs, le tonnerre, le clair matin ou les ombres du soir. Le tout mon air, alors s'élève un chant. Oh, 